When I woke up the next uh, morning, I thought it was a head, it was a dream. So I jumped straight up. I went to the porch, and my grandfather was sitting on the porch, you know. So I asked him, I said, uh, Papa, I said, did they bring Bo back? He said, no. He said, I hope they didn't kill that boy. I got my hand on the gospel plow. You can take things and take things and take things. And you know, we were dealing with a new generation. And uh, this new generation had decided that they just had taken as much as they could. It was the system of segregation that had caused in individuals to behave unjustly. And so he said, I'm not trying to put anybody out of business. I'm just trying to put justice in business. We're not being accepted in the White High School. We can't go anywhere or do anything or be anybody. At the same time, we're not really accepted anymore in the Black High School because we've now made trouble for the black people of the city. They're losing their jobs. My mother lost her job. So we decided that we probably would receive much more uh, effective action by using a so-called cattle prod. And the ones we had had only two small flashlight batteries in them and they produced a mild uh, electric shock and um, left no bruises, no marks, no burns. And I was well familiar with them because I had been in the cattle business. I think they saw in my eye where that I was determined to fight for my freedom, that I wasn't afraid of dying if it really meant that. And I don't know what else they saw in my eye, but whatever it was, you know, I'm thankful to God that they didn't attempt to go through with what they had said that they were going to go through with. Many times, you know, if the spirit is willing, then we don't know what the outcome will be.